What's up guys and welcome to the third video I've uploaded of Advanced Warfare and guys today I am bringing you sniping uh, gameplay with the Morse uh, with thermal and yeah just thermal a bunch of other perks I might do a class setup on uh, this class that I'm using because personally I think it's really good uh, as you already know well if you don't know and if you're new then I'm quite the sniper not that good at it at the moment. Well, okay. I'm saying it now you guys know. Oh, wow. You're so modest, aren't you? Well, this was actually just one of the really good games I actually played of it. Well, the first. I actually, here, I actually do one 8 kill streak before I die, which personally with a sniper I think is pretty nice. And it was only like my fifth or sixth game with the sniper, so I was really happy uh, to get that kind of result but guys um in these kind of videos i kind of want to talk, talk about something maybe isn't advanced warfare maybe i don't know experiences that have happened to me in life or maybe give me your advice advice in advanced warfare i don't know or not necessarily not advanced warfare but just sometimes or most of the time different topics like i kind of want to mix it up like i don't want to keep talking about advanced warfare advanced warfare advanced warfare when the game has already been out for about two or three months so I don't see the point really in it, so um, I think I might get cracking on with an experience I had when I was 12, which is four years ago, and we went on holidays to Port of in not Port of Ventura, Ballybunion. You Irish people out there, you probably or who live in Ireland, you probably will know where it is, and if you don't, it's kind of in Cork, and there's a few of them and. You Americans and English people really, or anyone is isn't Irish or don't live in Ireland, don't know where I'm talking about. Basically, uh, so it was a holiday. It was during the summer holidays and I literally just finished, finished primary school, I think. I don't know what you call it in America and England. Like, there's, quite so, you know, you know there's two schools. There's primary and secondary. I presume that's how you call it. I don't know, in America they call it high school, I think, don't you? And some, I don't know. And kindergarten, is it? Well, there's... Primary school to secondary school. There's two schools basically, you know. And you spend whatever, tw how many years is it? 14 years in school? I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't even counted, but basically, yeah. And I just finished primary school and we went on holidays with the family, obviously. Um, not obviously, but. And anyway, we went go karting. And I really like go karting. I think it's really fun. And. Previous to that year, we did a lot of it, so I was looking forward to going back to it, and we did, so, except, uh, it was about the third race, we did two races, I think I won one of them, and I was, like, really happy, or, we won this, I won the second one, so I was like, I wanna go again, I wanna win more, and then, uh, as we were coming down to the last lap, uh, it was me, and there was, like, this guy behind me, who was a, was a bit of a dickhead, I'm not gonna lie, and then my dad was further behind him and then there was another car next to my dad so two cars behind me there was my dad and this other fella and in front of them there was this dickhead who spun me i was driving around the corner he hit the back like this right right back side of the go-kart i went spinning i went spinning he drove off like ha, loser he just drove off not giving a fuck and then, while I was spinning, my dad and that other lad next to him didn't see me, and they both bashed into me. And then, I bashed my back off the back of a... It's like the track, and it was like these steel things around it. So, like, you know, if you're driving, you wouldn't go off the track. I hit that, and the go-kart, like, literally, it went up really high, and it nearly flipped on me. But it didn't, it just came down, and then my back was, like, badly bruised, I remember. And uh, I didn't go to hospital because I was like, I'm, I'm grand, guys. I'm grand. <laughs> no, I clearly wasn't. Um, and yeah, now ever since, uh, since that day, uh, oh no, actually, it was ever since, yeah, it was ever since that day, pretty much. I have this like little twinge in my back sometimes, so it's actually never fully better. And we've tried fixing it, like, done physio and whatever on it, my back, but. Uh, it only comes at me sometimes, but it is still there, and unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm ever- Well, I could possibly get rid of it with surgery and shit, but oh, I'm not doing that. And, uh, yeah, so, that's what happened pretty much, and yeah, my back's been fucked up ever since, so, 
And I've tried loads of different things, physios I've already said, but it's not getting better. And it, to be honest, it's not the worst thing, but it kind of sucks because there's some heavy things I can't lift or whatever. But besides that, I'm granted. To be honest, I didn't really blame the gold karting. I blamed that dickhead who fucking spun me. And I knew he meant it. Um... Uh, cause in our race, I remember he was sick, he was like, Oh god, I can beat my kid. Cause this guy, he was probably like 30, I think, 25, 30, and fucking spun me. Uh, all this shit was serious back to me when I was 12. Now it's just like, I just couldn't care. I mean, it was just a bit of banter, but, uh, at the time, I took it fair seriously, and I don't know why, to be honest, but, uh, yeah. And, yeah, so that's what happened, pretty much, and, yeah, like, not much crazy stuff usually happens on our holidays. We draw relax well not relaxing, but you know, we just do the the basic boring shit that kids don't really want to Well like you do stuff you want to do and then there's stuff you don't want to do. Just just that boring kind of stuff. And then um it was this is another story now. About let me think. Mm, it was about three months ago I think. I was fifteen. Yeah, rough right, pretty much. Um yeah, because if you guys don't know, I was I I was 16 on November the 7th, so it it was it wasn't that long before. I, I'd see it was like three or four months ago, pretty much actually before I started YouTube, and uh and yeah. <laughs> and so basically we went to this uh, Italian restaurant, and uh, I can't remember. I think it was called Milano's. I'm not fully sure. And so we most of the ta most of the waiters were Italian. There was one guy though that was so funny and he was like really weird and it, but it was just so funny. So how he was funny was like uh see so, so we'd be sitting at our table, whatever, four of us just sitting right there. And uh he'd just come over and he'd be like ta 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 da da ta 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 and he'd be like, What can I order you? Uh would you like uh he kind of sounded like a bit French, although he, was a, although he was Italian, I think he said. And the funny thing was, is just, he came, every time he came over, he was like, da, 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 da. And, he, and then he kept singing this song, we didn't know what it was. Um, and every time he came, he sang the song whenever time he came and left. So it was actually pretty funny. The way I'm explaining now probably doesn't sound funny at all, but when we were there, it was so funny. And oh my god. Okay, so my mom, absolutely horrible. If the one thing me, my dad, my brother hate about going to restaurants with our mom is just that she takes forever. Holy crap, because she can't eat a lot of different food, so. Oh my god, and it was just so hard. It was so hard for her to order, because there was like so much on the menu. And most of it was pizza, I think, you know, obviously, because it's Italian. Um, so she she couldn't eat a lot of food, and uh, yeah, he, 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 he just, your man just came mocking her. Like, ah, this woman, no, no, she she won't eat this. And it was just the way he said it was so funny, and it was just it was just a good time. There was loads of other stuff, but his video is running out of time, so I can't explain it to you. Maybe I'll explain it to my next one. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button below. Sorry, I sound depressed in my last FIFA content. It's just I'm really tired, and I'll see you in my next video.